Hello everyone. Today we will be speedrunning Luminary Rise of the Gonzu, or just Gonzu, however you want to call it, and we will be speedrunning the dungeon called Raccoon Lair. For this speedrun I already pressed the magic attack glitch that broke my magic attack into one and a half million. And I already pressed the second glitch, which is the teleportation glitch, that lets me warp straight to the end of the dungeon. I had to rerun the dungeon before setting this glitch, as it is. So, the timer will start when we enter the raccoon lair, so I'll try my best to work with OBS, work with lack of global hotkeys for this game. And work with my own brain to, so my own brain won't troll me. So first off, we enter the raccoon lair, then timer starts, then everything else. Raccoon lair, timer, let's go. Click to move to the raccoon lair, search for the boss. Move, 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 move. Ooh, protector spot, you know, you got this time. And uh, when the dungeon kicks us out, then the timer stops and the speedrun ends. Forty seconds. Let's go. This was pretty much easy version of the speedrun, however, the harder version of the speedrun is just going through all of the dungeons, remembering the routes and everything. Because this dungeon is like... You have several routes to go through. And... You need to remember all of the layouts of these several routes, because these routes change randomly. And I got the easy route the first time I ran this to set up the glitch that teleports me. And this glitch is basically setting a personal shop, then using this personal shop item search to teleport to this area. So that's pretty much it for the speedrun, I guess. What else can I do? I can show you what type of stuff that I used. It's normal Fable Asura 1 and Epic Tier 1 that you get from the boxes by beating boss monsters or buying from other people. Shinigami Cape by buying from other people, just like this. You buy this from other people, otherwise you can't get this. And of course, soul rings that I crafted from riding the sea dragon boss. And of course, there are bullets because I have different types of weapons around here, like Fable Asura gun and other things. Aspirant's Paladin Golden Scope gun. Of course, these names here are the pets. Pets are also these things shown in the top left corner below uh, the menu that shows me HP, MP and EXP and satiety, satiety, however you call this, basically your stomach field. Yes, this is literally this game's food system. After I end the video, I will also run this uh, dungeon several more times to get some good drops that I want. Like Miracle Hammers. And this dungeon, and this pet is pretty cute one, so I don't blame anyone for having this one. So... Thank you everyone for watching, hope you had a fantastic time, and I hope 
to see you on the next videos and speedruns alike. Bye bye. Hope you have a vote, comment and subscribe too. Bye bye.